Yes, we want to share those live and share those live and share the information, share the information, share the live and share the information. You know, share the live and share the information. You know what I'm saying? Share the live. People share the live. Hi, right, Sherry, darling. Good after, good night. How are you doing, sweetheart? Yes. Amando, you inside the house, brother. Thank you very much for watching. Janice Edwards, thank you, Rachel. Thank you very much for watching. Give thanks and praises to the Most High. Here's the Roberts, Kelly, Prut Perry. Blessed love, everybody, man. We're going to have a, a wonderful program tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a lot of our people in, we're doing dialysis. Hi, Princess Blatcher. Uh, thank you, doll, for sharing. I want you all to share this live. Daniel Wynn, share the, share the program for me. Antia Francis, please share hello. Good night. Um, Sel Clasidia, good night, everyone. Bishop, good night. Blessed love. Yes. Yeah, man. Lorna Dixon, good night. David Gordon, good night. Janet N. Nobel, hello, good night. And Lorraine Patricia Norville, good night. Sharika Eddie, good night. Blessed love to everybody. And Rick Bryant, appreciate you, brother. Ma Ma Micah Phillip, appreciate you, brother. Dion Jackson, I appreciate you. Hello to everybody. Aaron Perry, blessed love. Vivian Hudson. Yeah. Justin Terriven, good night. Bernard Riddle, good night. Mary Johnson, good night. Gloria Thomas, good night. Well, oh, you're all coming fast. Thank you for watching. Blessed love to everybody. All right? Wonderful. Bridget, blessed. Now, look at that brother right here, right? Tell him what you're doing, man. How are you feeling now? Yeah, I'm good. I'm doing great. Wonderful with this here. Yeah, good, good. Tyrus coming down, right? Yeah. Big swelling going down, ain't it? Yeah, of course. Yes, love, man. Yeah. Give thanks, yeah. you know? Yeah, good, yes. Good, good, good. Yes, man. You follow the program. Yeah. Yes. Just want to reach out. Um, Supervisor Natalie, Latisha, big up yourself. Conscious community. Bless and love. Give yeah. thanks, everybody. Yeah. yeah, you know, tonight, we want to pray for a little you tonight. A little eight year old just came in, just left here, as a matter of fact, with leukemia, eight years old. And. I don't cry easy, you know. And I supposed to be a revolutionary, a soldier, but I had to shed some tears because the little youth is very sick. His platelet is 16. His white blood cells is 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Just to chemotherapy. And can't do a bone marrow because his blood cells are so low. So you have to pray for the eight-year-old. Please, I'm begging everybody to pray for the eight-year-old because it could be any one of our children. You know what I mean? It could be my daughter, it could be my son. You know, so please pray for this little eight-year-old because he's very sick. And we're hoping that, you know, we can help him to build back up the blood so he can do his bone marrow transplant, okay? Because the, the bone marrow transplant is very significant. So say a prayer for the little eight-year-old brother, brother, but the little brother's brother, I call him Brother Brown. Say a prayer for the brother, please, because he needs lots of prayers and lots of help, all right? Not only from us, from also from the medical system too, all right? Wonderful. Tonight we're going to talk about kidney restoration and because we have lots of our people living in the dialysis centers, all right, and we want to talk, we want to talk about rest, restoring the kidney function, all right, but before we talk about restoration of the kidney function, let's look at what the kidney does and how the kidney could go bad, okay, all right? Don't forget to pray for the little youth. He's only eight years old and he could be any one of our children. Pray for him. The kidney. I mean, all the kidney, look at what the kidney does. Remember the kidney, we said before, the kidney control the heart, and the heart control the kidney. So if you have high blood pressure, you're going, and it's too high, and you can't control your pressure, you're going to get troubles in the kidney. And if you can't have good kidney health, you're going to have good, you're going to have bad heart health, because they control each other. As we said before, your kidney is water, and your heart is fire. And water out fire, so the kidney control the heart, and the heart control the kidney. Wonderful. Now, if you have troubles in the pancreas, also, you can have troubles in the kidney too. Because when you have diabetes, and the sugar is too high, you can also damage your kidney. Alright? And because lots of our people in the black community is living in a dialysis center, we want to teach our people tonight how to restore and keep your kidney functioning at optimum because you're going to end up on dialysis long term. Because we have a brother from Grenada who's here now, can't go back to Grenada. His wife and child is over there, can't go back because he on, he's on dialysis. All right? And remember, we only have one machine in Grenada 
for how many people who are who's on dialysis. You understand? So we have to learn to take up the kidney. We can talk all the talk we want to talk now, but when you lose your kidney, that's it. You can't get back the function. So I'm going to teach my people how to repair the kidney if it's not fully damaged or how to keep it from being damaged at all, period. All right? Wonderful. Now, when you go to a doctor and he looks at your kidney, um, you want to do a renal test. He look for sodium. He looks for potassium. He looks for chloride. He looks for carbon, CO2. He looks for the burn, blood, urea, nitrogen test. He looks for creatinine and he looks for your GFR. We're going to tell you what, they, what it's supposed to be. Right? Wonderful. And that's why I always say that the medical system is also important. You understand? Some herbalists don't deal with doctors. I do. And I have my reasons why. Because a herbalist cannot take blood tests. A herbalist cannot run x-rays. He can't do brain scans. He can't do uh, uh, MRIs. He can't do CT scans. Nor could he do ultrasounds. All right? So there is a connection between your doctor and your herbalist. If they are open-minded. All right? Wonderful. So the renal test that the doctor takes for you, the sodium supposed to be his numbers is 135 to 149. That's good numbers here. Your potassium, 3.5 to 5.4. That's normal numbers. Your chloride, 90 to 100 and, 109. That's normal numbers. Your carbon or CO2, 0 to 25. That's good numbers. Your burn, blood, urea, nitrogen test, 0 to 25. That's good. Your creatinine levels, 0 to 3, 0 0.3 to 1.10. That's normal. Follow me. Your GFR, globular. Huh? Filtration rate. That's important. This one right here. Sometimes they, come, they multiply these numbers. Now this guy right here, once he is 60 and to 120, you are in good health. Your kidney is working okay. Once he drops from 60 to 50, you start, you start to get kidney damage already. Boom. 650, stage 1. 40, stage 2. 30, stage 3. 20 GFR, stage 4. 15, stage 5, kidney failure. Automatically, when, when you get to 20, your doctor will tell you, prepare yourself for, 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 for dialysis because he knows that your, your, your GFR will drop more. Once your burn rises, the doctor also knows that your kidney is being damaged. Once your creatinine rises also, he knows that your kidney is being damaged also. You see what I'm saying? And I have a lady who worked in a dialysis center. She runs it. So it's a lot of information that I have. Hispanics and... Lots of our people, African Americans, is living in dialysis centers. Grenada, lots of them too. Antigua have a three-hour shift of dialysis. It's a very small country. 17 machines. So that's what the doctor looks for to see if you have good renal health. Renal means kidney, right? So once these numbers are okay, the doctor will tell you that your kidney is functioning well. Once your potassium starts going up, your doctor knows that you're not, you're, not, you're not metabolizing potassium well. So he's going to know that something is wrong with your kidney because your creatinine is going to be high or your GFR is going to be low or your bone is going to be high also. Right? So that's the renal test that the doctor takes to look at your kidney. Very important because lots of people are losing their kidney to, to, to from high blood pressure and, di and diabetes also and lupus. Now, symptoms of kidney disease. Symptoms, swelling of the ankles and the legs, swelling of the face, of the, hand, of the hands, eh? form of blood in the urine, itching, metal taste in the mouth, nausea, fatigue, can't sleep, you're losing concentration, you're very tired fast, and you sleep a lot. That's a sign. Because I see many people who died from kidney disease or kidney failure, they slept a lot too. Two of them, you understand, that I know who died from that. So don't take your kidney... For a joke, take care of your kidney now. So those are the symptoms of kidney disease. Frequent urination too. It's a form of trouble in the kidney. So the doctor would look for do a, what we call a urine analysis, and he would look for blood in the urine. He would look for ketones, ketones in the urine. He would look for uric acid in the urine. He would look for sugar in the urine, excessive amount of sugar. Once you have... Too much blood, sugar, uric acid in the urine, you know that your kidney is going to be damaged long term. Follow me now. Wonderful. The best way to keep your kidney healthy, the best way 
to keep your kidney healthy is to keep yourself hydrated. Doing kidney flushes, which we're going to talk about tonight. We're going to flush your kidney. Make it balanced, tonified, and strengthen the kidney. We're going to teach you how to do that tonight. So don't you lose your kidney. Keep foods that keep the kidney well. We're going to tell you what they are. Drink herbal teas that keep the kidney in good working condition. We're going to tell you what they are, what herbs to use. Keep the heart in good condition. Because once your heart is in good condition, your heart would be able to pump the blood through the vessel walls properly and then your kidney will get enough, enough blood to do its job. Because the kidney needs blood from the heart in order for the kidney to do its job properly. If the heart is not working good and the heart cannot pump the blood through the vessel walls, your kidney will suffer because the kidney needs blood in order for the kidney to keep you well. That's just common sense. That's factual. No doctors could doubt that. Keep the sugar levels at a normal range. So you have to keep your sugar levels well in terms of the pancreatic health and you have to keep your heart well too. See? So you have to have everything working in balance because the body is one entity. Follow me now, right? So if you have bad heart health, you're going to have bad kidney health. And if you have bad pancreatic health and you have diabetes and your sugar is too high, you're going to damage your kidney long term. See? Wonderful. So too much sugar in the kidney is bad. Too much uric acid in the kidney is bad. Too much blood in the kidney is bad. And if the kidney is not getting enough blood from the heart muscle, then you know what's going to happen. Your kidney is going to suffer. Pressure levels that will keep your kidney well. The normal pressure that the doctor looks for is 120 over 70 or 120 over 80. My number is 110 over 70 or 110 over 80. That's where your pressure should be. Sugar levels in the morning should be 70 milligram per deciliter to 100 milligram per, deci per, per, deci per, deci per deciliter. Not 110, not 115, not 120, not 130. 170 to 100 milligram per deciliter for your sugar levels in the morning. Otherwise, you're going to damage your kidney long term. These are your pressure and your sugar levels. Keep them in this order. And once you keep them in this order, your kidney would stay well. Because they work together. They, they depend on each other. Can the kidney be regenerated? Can our kidney be regenerated? Let's look at that. If there is damage to the tubulus, they can be repaired. Listen now. If there is damage to the tubulus, your kidney can be repaired. But if the damage is severe, the nephrons may be destroyed. If the damage is severe of the kidney, the nephrons may be destroyed. The kidney can regenerate, but it cannot make new nephrons, making regeneration limited. Follow. If there is damage to your kidney from high blood pressure or diabetes or lupus or any form of autoimmune disease like RA, rheumatoid arthritis, yeah, the turbulence can be repaired, but if the damage is severe from lupus, high blood pressure, diabetes, and other forms of troubles in the kidney, the nephron may be destroyed. And your kidney can regenerate, but it cannot make new nephrons, making regeneration limited. Follow me now. And that's the reason I preach, I teach prevention. Don't damage your kidney. Keep your kidney well. Wonderful. So we know that how the kidney can be repaired or regenerated. So we're going to talk about rest restoration of the kidney if it's not fully damaged. If your GFR, if your GFR over here is not 15, is not 10, but it's 25 because we have people now who is moving the GFR from 25 to 35 and 40. It's happening every day. And they're sending they send these messages in our post. So we know. But you cannot get 100% of the kidney function back. It ain't going to happen. But you're going to get limited regeneration to stay off dialysis. Because they know how you function. What, they, know, they know what you like to eat. See what I'm saying? So they're going to keep you coming to them all the time. Foods to lower your creatinine levels if it's high. 
Because once your creatinine level goes high, you know for a fact that your kidney is being damaged now. High fiber foods, lots of vegetables, lots of secondary foods like grains, lots of primary foods like some of the legumes, and distilled water. These are the foods that will lower, you lower your creatinine levels fast. A high fiber diet, lots of vegetables, grains, we call them secondary foods, and the primary foods and lots of water. If you're not under 20 in terms of your GFR, because once your GFR is under a certain number, you can't drink a lot of water now. Foods to eat for kidney disease. Foods you must eat when you have kidney disease. Not kidney failure, kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease, CFCKD. Peppers, cabbages, onions, garlic, apples, blueberries, and pineapples. And pineapples. Especially if you cannot uh, 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 with, uh, metabolize potassium well, or sodium well, or phosphorus well, or calcium well. See? You have to know. So we're going to teach you tonight how to keep your kidney well and how to res restore the function of that organ, making it work for you, but in turn working the heart and strengthening or tonifying your heart muscle so that your heart could pump the blood to the vessel walls to feed your kidney. All right, don't forget, Magnum Long for me, because they're going to delete my videos, right, brother? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> what damages the kidney? Lupus or any autoimmune disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, or what they call... Um, when you have a, a big cyst in your kidney, polycystic kidney too. Polycystic kidney damages the kidney long term because there's a lot of mucus and water in the polycystic kidney, although the doctor may tell you it is what we call genetics. But when you have a polycystic kidney, if it, gets, if it starts to get uh, damaged the kidney, it makes the kidney become very big. And after a while you lose your kidney, to kidney failure also. So polycystic, polycystic kidney is also... A, a part of the damaging of the kidney or the nephron of the kidney also. Come over here, brother. Come over here now. Kidney restoration. Let's look at the job of the kidney first. Job of your kidney is to filter the blood. Follow me. Second job of the kidney is to remove waste. Third job of the kidney is to control your fluid balance. Fourth job of the kidney is to keep the pH or the electrolytes in balance. Follow me. Look at the job of the kidney. Your liver have over 500 functions. Your kidney, although you don't have much of the liver, but it is very significant because it filters the blood. It removes waste. It controls your, your fluid balance. It keeps the electrolytes in balance. Electrolytes now. That's why coconut water is important. It regulates your pH. Balance. Your kidney does that. Your kidney balance your minerals. Your kidney have, does uh, have it products it produces hormones like renin. To do what? To help regulate blood pressure and control calcium metabolism. Your kidney does that. It regulates your pH. It balances minerals and hormone production like renin to help regulate blood pressure and control calcium metabolism. Meaning that what? Your kidney control your heart, brother. <laughs> your kidney control your heart. Because look what it does. Hormone production, like renin, to help regulate blood pressure and, con and control calcium metabolism. So it is important. Look what it does again. We're going. It maintains healthy balance of water, salts, minerals like sodium, potassium, calcium, and phosphorus. And that's the reason why when your kidney go bad, you can't use a lot of food that have a lot of sodium, potassium, and phosphorus and calcium. Because now your kidney cannot maintain the healthy balance of these minerals. See what I'm saying? So they become so overwhelmed in the body that you have more kidney damage. And automatically, if you start to have a retention of calcium in the body, 
you start having troubles in the parathyroid. Because your parathyroid, what metabolizes calcium and the B complex well. So they, have, they work in balance. And lots of people out here is in balance. The organs is in balance. So your kidney maintain healthy balance of water, salts, and minerals like sodium, potassium, calcium, and phosphorus. If it can't work well, it can never balance them. Never, ever. If it don't work well with the heart, it can't balance them either. If your kidney don't work well with the, with the, with the pancreas, it can't balance them back either. They have to work together. Signs of kidney, kidney trouble. Stardiness, forming the urine, frequent urination, water around the eyes. Watch me now. You see people who have a lot of swelling, puffy eyes. That's what we call that, brother. We call it Shanti. We call it waterlock kidney. Lots of people who have this swelling under the eyes. It could be from allergies too. But mostly all the time, it's a waterlogged kidney that you have. Your kidney is waterlogged. Meaning that your kidney is not pushing the water out to the, to the, to, to the bladder. So it sends the water back and the water goes right under here. You get puffy eyes. Not from allergies only, but waterlogged kidney. Meaning that your kidney is not pushing the water out. See, and a lot of politicians have that. Them tricksters, right, Bridget? Yes, of course. My brother. Yes, right? Water around the eyes, sweating off your legs. And now we're going to talk about herbs to tonify the kidney. Let's look at them. Tonification. Now, in my medicine, we deal with tonification. We deal with tranquilization. We deal with blood purification. We deal with stimulation. We deal with diuresis. We deal with emetic. We deal with purging, and we deal with sweating. Follow me. So the first one we're going to talk about tonight is diuresis. Diuresis means that if your kidney is waterlogged, and your kidney cannot move the excessive amount of water, we go to the metatherapy called diuresis. So in the form of diuresis, we use what we call diuretics. Like the medical system use Bezide and Lasix, they are diuretics. The difference between Lasix and you have nettle leaf here, brother? Nettle leaf? Oh, let's say pass. The difference in Lasix and Bezai to nettle leaf and parsley, we use plants that have a diuretic function but have potassium so the Lasix and the bare side push the potassium out so the doctors have to give you a drug called slow k to push the potassium back in that's okay brother yeah don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. you follow me huh he have to give you a drug called slow k to push back the potassium but nature from god have the herbs that have potassium but they act as a, a what we call is a, 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 a potassium sparing diuretic meaning that they will push the potassium out if it's excessive but because they have potassium in the plants they would put back the the amount of potassium that the body needs that's nature nature working in balance so if there is swelling of the feet or the ankles or you have a waterlogged kidney swelling under the eyes, or your hand is swelling. If the kidney is not bad, if you don't have what we call stage four or stage five kidney disease, we go to the metatherapy called diuresis. Diuresis, we put all plants together that push the excessive amount of water out without losing lots of potassium. So we call it what we call them potassium sparing diuretics. That's if you have swelling of the feet. If you have kidney disease, stage two, stage three, meaning that your GFR is 30 or 25, we can push up back the function 
to 40. By doing what? Tonifying the kidney. We call it tonification in my medicine. We have to tonify. So we remove the water out. Once the water is gone, we start to tonify the kidney with plants. Look at them over here. The first one is jupiter berries. And jupiter berries is very significant, but if we're going to treat the kidney long term, we're going to remove this herb because this herb can, can irritate your kidney long term. So if the treatment of the kidney is for more than three to six months, we would remove the jupiter berries after a month because too long of a use of this herb can also irritate your kidney. So we're looking at tonification of the kidney. We're looking at tonification of the kidney. Romania and build the blood. So we're looking at tonification. Why are we using these two herbs to tonify the kidney? We're using this herb right here called hydrangea to make sure that the kidney is working properly in terms of its water balance. In the process of using these plants, if there is trouble in the heart, and the heart needs to have a stronger contraction to push the blood through the vessel walls properly, we want to use one herb that would help the heart to have a stronger contraction without excessive amount of oxygen going into the heart muscle. So we use heart and leaf and flower to give the heart a stronger contraction. And while the heart is working better and pumping the blood through the vessel walls, your kidney now is going to do what? It's going to have enough blood so that your kidney can move the excessive amount of water, deal with your pH balance, also deal with your sodium, phosphorus, calcium, and potassium balance and salts to move out and have them balance properly. Because we said before that the heart and the kidney work together. Follow me. Once the kidney, once the kidney is tonified, we use parsley. And parsley is very significant. See? The problem with parsley is though, if you use this plant for too long, it can disarray the nervous system. Make you get shaky. So we put them together for tonification. Follow me. So these herbs right here is going to tonify your kidney. Because we now said that we remove the excessive amount of water from the kidney. And we are now working on the heart to strengthen the heart muscle. Because the kidney control the heart and the heart control the kidney. See what I'm saying? It's not just drinking herbs, you know. You have to know how to do this, how to mix the plants together. Once we get rid of the excessive amount of water using the metatherapy called diuresis, we move from diuresis now to what? To tonification. And we start to tonify the kidney. Once we tonify the kidney, the kidney now becoming strong. And once the kidney is strong enough now, we go to what? Stimulation. We start stimulating your kidney. We go to marshmallow. We go to cleavers. We go to corn silk. We go to dandelion leaf. We go to uvarasi. We go to ginkgo for circulation. And we go to what? Cassandra berry. And the purpose of Cassandra berry, this one right over here, because you have two hats sitting on the left and the right kidney called the adrenals, cortex medulla. If you have trouble in the kidney, it can affect the two hats on the kidney called, uh, called the adrenals. So we have to use schizander berry as an adaptogen. We call it tranquilization in the metatherapy. So we're going to what? Diuresis. We're going to what? Tonification. We're going to what? Stimulation. We're going to what? Are we going to what now? Tranquilization. 
and we are normalizing a function of the gland on top of the kidney because they work together because the gland on top of your kidney if you don't work properly can release too much adrenaline in the blood and cause your heart to palpitate and if your heart is palpitating in no way your heart will work good to pump the blood to the vessel wall to feed your kidney am i making sense people am i making sense i'm talking facts so stimulation once the kidney is 25, we stimulate the kidney. Now, once your kidney is stimulated, we call it stimulation, now the kidney is strong enough now to throw off any sickness that it has. Follow. After we 25, and we strengthen the kidney, we go to what? Blood purification. Wow, Benjamin. We call it blood purification. Why? We have to go to blood purification because the kidney purifies your blood. It filters the blood. It works with the bone marrow. It works with your, with your spleen. It works with your red blood cells. So now we go to purify the blood because it's blood purification. Because now the kidney is strong enough to help to purify your blood or filter your blood. See what I'm saying? If your kidney is weak, we can never use stimulating plants to stimulate your kidney because your kidney is going to collapse. So we must tonify the kidney first. And after your kidney is tonified, we stimulate the kidney. We cannot stimulate and tonify. We must tonify and then stimulate. Right, brother? And after we stimulate, we're going to purify the blood. And once the blood has been purified or filtered by your kidney, in no way you can get kidney disease. In no way you can get kidney failure. In no way you can have waterlogged kidneys. In no way you can have that. See what I'm saying? So we have to learn how to keep the organs healthy. Otherwise, your kidney can turn on you and kill you long term. And lots of our people in the black community is full of kidney disease. A dialysis center is popping up all over in the black community. And only Hispanics and people of African descent filling up these dialysis centers. And it is not owned by us. It is owned by other people. It is not owned by us. I'm talking facts. Who want to vex, vex. It is not owned by our people. If we have to own it, we have to go through a whole process. And the sister told me, and still can't get through, because it was not meant for us to own anything in Babylon. Imagine. So my job is to teach you to keep your kidney well and prevent disease in your kidney. Stay from the soy sauce. Stay from the ramen. Stay from the MSGs. Stay from the sugars. Stay from the salt. You know what I'm saying? And you will save your kidney. You know? Keep your heart well. Keep your pancreas well. Keep your sugar levels well. Keep your pressure well. You know? Don't get lupus. You know what I mean? Don't get celebidoma. Don't get RA. Because these conditions can cause your immune system, which is your protector, to turn on you because you were so they're abusive to your immune system with lots of acids. That your immune system will turn on you and damage your kidney long term. And damage your heart. And damage your lung. Because he takes them as a foreign invader. Because you abuse your organ system on a regular basis. So all the acid from the cells goes to where? To your kidney. All the acid from your cells. Your cells supposed to be in alkaline liquids but because we eat too much acid foods your cells start bathing in an acid liquid liquid for acid form so all the cells supposed to be what drain all the acid from what your kidney your kidney because it controls a, a, a balances back your alkaline acid balance but if your kidney is not working well your kidney gonna store all your acid in your tissues in your tissues and once the acid gets into your tissues 
you're going to get sick long term. Especially if you're stressed out. If you're stressed. Number two, if all the acid sticks in your tissues, it's going to end up damaging your lymphatic system. And because your lymphatic system is vessels and fluid that flow parallel to your bloodstream, it's going to become clogged and you're going to get what you call lymphatic stagnation. Lumps under your arm, lumps in your groin, lumps in your neck, nose, adenoids. See, because they work together. So, kidney restoration. We flush the kidney every six weeks. Flush your kidney. Ten days. Flush it up. Tonify it. Strengthen it. Stimulate it. Make it purify your blood properly. And then you will save your kidney. And then you will never ever go and sit on a chair to let a machine clean your blood for you. Follow me. You would never ever go on a chair to have that machine cleaning your blood and in the process can even drop your pressure so low that you can pass out on that chair. Because it could happen. Lots of people die on the chair taking dialysis. Am I right or wrong, brother? True, true. Lots of people die on the dialysis chair. Let them know that. Lots of people, I know one of them, who was going to get dialysis, came off the bus and died as he came off the bus. He could not even get to the dialysis center because his blood was so contaminated. Follow me. I'm going to teach my people, man. You know what I mean? So, in order for you to regenerate your kidney, you must stay from what? Flesh foods. Nothing with eyes. Leave the thing that has eyes alone. Because once you've eaten too much heavy proteins and it go to your liver, it's going to come back to your kidney with lots of uric acid. And if your kidney is weak, your kidney can never ever remove the excessive amount of uric acid from the kidney into the bladder, into the urine. So if you want to regenerate your kidney, be disciplined and remove all flesh foods from your diet. And if you want to eat any food that has potassium, make sure that you leach it first. Meaning that you're going to soak it in water and let the potassium come out. And then you can use that food till you can tonify and stimulate your kidney and put it back in working condition to work for you to filter your blood. Look at them over here. Nettle seed is the only herb that regenerates your kidney on the planet. This herb, nettle seed. Is the only herb that regenerate your kidney. Regenerate the kidney. If the nephrons are not gone. Kidney support. Kidney and bladder. Christybooks.biz. If you want to tonify your kidney, you must go on a kidney restoration program. Otherwise, I'm telling people, lots of our people is full of hypertension. Lots of our people. Is full of diabetes in the Caribbean countries too. Lots of our people is full of lupus. Follow me. And these conditions alone would damage your kidney long term. So get up on your horse and ride it. Ride is right because otherwise you are going to be a statistics of the system. If you keep on taking them drugs, because each drug you put into your mouth. It must go through your kidney and your liver for restoration. Any drug you put into your mouth, it must go through these organs of elimination for what? For detoxification. So if you have a weak kidney and you have a weak liver, common sense. Now how are you going to detoxify all these drugs, taking them every day? The eight-year-old, like a child today, he's taking a lot of them too. He have, he have leukemia. He... He don't can't get well unless he change that. High blood pressure drugs. Diabetic drugs. Some of them high blood pressure drugs give you autoimmune diseases. So how are you going to get better though? You know what I mean? You have to put your body back in balance. And once you put your body back in balance, your kidney going to work well, your heart going to work well, your lung going to work well, your liver going to work well, and your blood will be cleansed, and you will give your kidney a vacation to Hawaii. And while your kidney is being on a vacation to Hawaii, you're going to rest him. If you have stage 2 kidney disease, you're going to rest your kidney. And when you're resting your kidney, you're going to put a little bit more strain on your liver 
to do the job while you are resting your kidney and when you're resting your kidney, you are tonifying the kidney, giving your kidney less work to do to filter your blood, and only then you would get restoration of that organ I call the kidney. Blessed love. Give thanks and praises to the most side, Jehovah God. Blessed love, Bridget. Give thanks. Yeah. We still in Ambrosia till when? Shall the Friday. <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure my people wear the black community. I mean, yeah, Friday morning, my family, I know my daughter, they all miss me. I'm coming back home Friday morning. Daddy will be home on Friday. You know, Wednesday morning, Wednesday until they go give me head and strength. You're going to go around trying to do a little, um, you know, um, educating our people in some of the homes, you know, I mean, who was in hospice. And we're trying to get our people to, to do the right thing to keep the body well. Because once your body is in perfect health, you're going to have good kidney health. So my advice is to keep your kidney well. Try, to, try not to get high blood pressure. Try not to get diabetes. Try not to get lupus. Only then you're going to keep them well. And that's what I do. Fast on a regular basis. So we put them programs together for people. Programs. And all the programs we have together, people are getting good results. They're benefiting. Women today is benefiting from the program for women only. Men, now is gonna benefit from the men only. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna, we're gonna flush the kidney. We're gonna flush it out, and we're gonna take about 14, 20 days, and we're gonna flush the kidney out, stay from all the flesh food, and tonify the kidney, and stimulate the kidney, and then you will see when your pee, your pee gonna look like water. Blessed love. And give Jehovah God all the glory. 718-469-0985. Ask for Ashante. K-R-I-S-T-Y-B-W-K-F dot B-I-Z. Kidney bladder cleanse. Yeah. 631-530-2329. Or 1473-421-9604. And we will teach you. Before they delete my videos. Share it. To somebody else who have trouble in the kidney and show them how we can put you on program to help the kidney if it's not kidney failure. They want to say Patrick said we could fix your kidney. I never said that. I said that if the nephrons are damaged, there is gonna be limited regeneration. So don't go and say I say. You wanna come and lock me up. Say Patrick does, sir. There will be limited regeneration, so we can try to rebuild the kidney. But Patrick does also say, don't lose your kidney. Protect your kidney so you don't have to go on dialysis. Tell them Patrick does say that. Bless and love. Hey, Imagine. Hey, man. You know, they go and say, Patrick does say, Patrick does say, Patrick. I hear Patrick does say, because you need your kidney. Patrick does say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Home in Grenada on Monday, Friday we home in Grenada, back in the Iron Bird, blessed love, give thanks.